Hello, and welcome to Bluegrass Community and Technical College Online Learning. We know that many of you signed up for a face-to-face class, and working online was not what you wanted to do. But just know that BCTC is doing everything we can to make your experience as positive as we can during this unprecedented global event. We are here to help you complete your course with the best possible outcomes during this unusual time. So to achieve this, we will most likely be using Blackboard. Blackboard is our e-learning or our learning management system where your instructors will be posting uh, lecture materials, assignments, quizzes, other learning materials, um, all kinds of different things can be put in Blackboard. But don't worry, it's very easy to use. And if you run into any problems, there is a 24-hour helpline you can contact to get things sorted out. So let's take a look at how you can get into Blackboard. Uh, One of the easiest ways is to go to mypath.kctcs.edu. And that will take you to a page that looks very similar to this. You may not have all the different tiles and things like I do, but you will definitely have a Blackboard tile. So you can click that and we'll go directly to Blackboard to log you in and everything. Or you can go to e-learning dot kctcs.edu and that will take you to um, the login page where you type in your user ID and password just like you would if you were going to check your email. Um, It's going to be your first initial last name and a four digit number and then your password whatever you use to log into email or student services. So click sign in. So when you first log in you're going to see the institution page. The institution page is the main default page every time you log in. And you'll see, if you scroll down, you'll see a couple links that will be helpful. There are uh, some links to Starfish and Training and Learning Center, um, all these different links that can help you out. The biggest two for right now, if you do have issues with your course and you can't access something or something is not working quite right, go to the Student Support and Resource Center or the Go KCTCS Support Services and Help Desk. The second one, the Go KCTCS one, that one actually is open 24 hours, seven days a week where you can actually um, contact someone, support a ticket or do chat or phone help. Uh, that's where you want to go if you have uh, issues with Blackboard. The main part on the side menu you're going to go to is to the courses link. So if we click on courses, it's going to take you to a list of courses um, that you are currently enrolled in. And you'll see these stars on the side. You can tell that the sample course has been um, starred. Basically, it's been favored at the top of my list. So this will always be at the top. So if you have a couple courses that you want to put always at the very top, you, you have to deal with those more often. You may want to favorite them so you don't have to look through a list of courses. So let's enter the course by clicking on, on the course title. And generally it takes you to a homepage, um, which gives you information like com- upcoming assignments, things like that. It depends on how the, the instructor has set up uh, their course. You may not see much of anything here. Um, you may see a ton of stuff here. So it just depends on, on what the instructor has done. Um, every course is set up differently. This one is just a sample course, so uh, it's as clean as, as I could possibly get it. But um, your your faculty or your instructor will probably have an announcements of some kind. So if you click on that, um, you're going to see announcements. These are usually timely, important information that they're giving um, to you. So you know when assignments are due, where to go, um, what you need to do. So always keep a look on the assignments, uh, the announcements page. You also have your syllabus, and the syllabus usually has the course syllabus, but it'll also have a course schedule. Um, they may not have a course schedule, but the schedule may be in- included in the syllabus, but you'll always find your syllabus there. You've got a My grade section where you can check your current grades. And then usually, it may not be separated like this, but you may have some kind of course content or learning content um, area, and they may be doing PowerPoints, discussion boards, and things like that. So if you go into course content, whatever they may call it, And you'll see some different things in here. Um, You may see um, lecture notes. You may see videos. There's all kinds of items that can be here. So I've just got some lecture notes here. Um, One of the biggest questions we get is, how do I do an assignment? So if um, this is an assignment, just a sample assignment, and you can see it has a due date. Not all instructors actually tie a due date to an assignment, but many do. So you'll see the due date there. You'll see how many points it's possible. Most instructors want you to attach a document, and if that's the case, you can just click on Browse the compu- My Computer, and it'll bring up your computer directories, and you can just um, find the file you need to upload and upload it from there. Or um, if they don't mind, you can write a submission. So if you click on Write a Submission, you can just type your um, answer in here and um, submit it from there. So like I said, make sure these are complete sentences. Um, you know, this is a, this is the answer to your assignment. So you can't, don't, don't, um, halfway do it. You really have to do it completely. But um, like I said, most instructors want a document uploaded. So you would do that through the attached files and the browse computer part. 
once you're done, you can also put a comment if you want to say, you know, like, um, you know, had to do this or whatever comment you want your instructor to read uh, about your assignment. You can type it in here. Don't submit your actual answer here. This is only for comments about the assignment. So once you're done, you would hit submit and it would go, it would submit your assignment. You will get an email that you submitted your assignment, like proof that you submitted. If you didn't receive that email, then something went wrong. You may want to try to resubmit again, but you should get an email just like a receipt saying it's done. Um, instructors are also using quizzes or tests or exams, uh, whatever you want may call it. Uh, they could be multiple choice, um, whatever. So if you click on it, it gives you um, the due dates. It may have instructions here about what you can do, how long it may be timed. It may automatically submit for you after a certain amount of time, but all that information will be there. If you hit begin, I think it just has, yeah, it just has one sample question on here. You answer the question and you hit save and submit and it'll save your answers and submit that uh, to the course. And it's just going to ask you, are you sure? Cause you can't return. We're going to hit okay. And it's submitted. And if you want to click to review your results, depending on how they have it set up, you can see um, your points. I got 10 out of 10 points. They may have materials here that are tied to um, a publisher's content. So those will also be in areas like this. Um, they might also have poor PowerPoints. A lot of uh, our instructors switching from an on-campus to an online course may have their lecture notes or their PowerPoints uh, posted in the class. So it may not be in a separate section, but you may see PowerPoints there. So if you click on that and access those um, discussion boards is also a really good way to, um, to do discussions during class. One of the big tools that most of the instructors are going to be using is called Blackboard Collaborate. So you may see this called anything. It could be Blackboard Collaborate. It could be called Collaborate. It could, um, it actually, this link might be under course content, depending on where they, they put it. Um, I just put mine on the side so it's easy to use. It might be um, online lecture hall. I mean, it could be called anything, but basically it would be some kind of uh, way to communicate with each other live. So you, if I click on collaborate, it's going to open up the collaborate room and it's going to list the, all the different sessions that that instructor may have created for the class. So I just created a sample session. So we're going to click on this and we're going to join the room. So I'm going to click on this. And you'll notice it has a join session uh, link, but it also has a dial in link. So you can dial into the class. In other words, you can do audio for your Blackboard Collaborate session without being actually on a computer. So if you if you don't have a computer at home, you could at least listen and, and be able to communicate. You can actually talk into the class if it's allowed by calling in this number and entering, entering the pin. Um, you can you can interact with the course. Um, if you do have a computer and a phone and your audio is not working on your computer, like let's say you join the session and um, you're not able to hear your instructor talk or they can't hear you if they're if they're wanting you to talk about things you can be in the computer session and watching the whatever they're presenting and dial in to get the audio part at the same time so you can do both you can have your computer having the visual and you can have your phone doing the audio and it works perfectly fine so just keep that in mind if something's not working with audio um, on your session then on your computer then you can uh, do the dial in to get the audio so I'm going to click join session. And I'll just talk about normally it would ask you at the very beginning, do you want to, it'll pop up with a pop up up here in the, in the top. Usually that, uh, do you want to allow the browser to use your microphone and do you want to use your video camera? Um, you can just say yes to both of those. Um, and, and it'll default is to be muted anyway. So, um, if you, do have problems like you can't access that in Chrome and in the Microsoft Edge browser. You can click on this little lock right here and it'll say allow. So camera will allow, microphone will allow, notifications will allow. You'll get um, this information up here. If it says um, if it says block, you'll want to change it to allow to get it to um, allow your microphone and camera to go. Uh, Firefox probably has something similar to it. I don't, I don't have Firefox on this uh, computer. So um, it'll have something similar there where you can allow your audio and video. Um, down here is just your your status and settings. Don't worry about that too much. Um, here's where you mute and unmute your audio to be able to hear the class to be able to hear you. So if you uh, if your instructor asks you to um, to say something or answer a question uh, with voice, you would do that through here on your computer. Again, if you're on on a dial in uh, with your phone, you would just you would just say it on your phone. Um, 
and then this is to turn on your video and this is to raise your hand. So when you raise your hand, the instructor actually gets a little pop-up notification saying that you raised your hand. So that just kind of indicates you need help. Then we have the Blackboard Collaborate panel, which is this little purple icon over here. So we can open this panel by clicking here. And the first one is like a little speech bubble. This lets you um, chat in the class. So we can just say hello and hit enter. And this will go to everyone. And you can see it's everyone uh, room. So everyone will see you say hello. You can sit here and watch uh, what people are saying. If you click on the attendees, the two people, and it has a number of people in the room um, also listed, but you can click here and it shows you who's in the room. And then this is for file sharing. You don't really need to do anything with that. And these are your settings just in case something's um, going wrong. You need to change your settings for some reason. Like you set up your video, your camera, and your microphone, you could do that. Um, use your audio. Use your phone for audio. will give you the phone number. So if you're already in here and, and something's not working, you can just click this and it'll give you the phone number to dial into. You can do your uh, speaker volume, things like that from there. But most of the time, you're just going to be in chat um, watching people, what they do. And your instructor will probably have information right here on the main screen, um, either the PowerPoint lectures. They can draw on the screen and stuff. So you'll see it all right here. So if you, um, your instructor can also record these sessions. So if you can't make a live session or if maybe they're not having sessions, they're just telling you to go watch the recordings. Let me show you where those are at. So I'm just going to exit this at the top of my browser. I'm just going to exit the session. So under this, um, collaborate, when you go into this area right here, it just says sessions at the top. And instead of clicking on the session to go into a room, if you click this little pancake thing, it's the menu icon up here. If you click on that, you'll see it has recordings. So any recordings it has, I'm going to click on it. Any recordings that have been made in the class will be listed right here. And you can click that and watch the recordings um, on your own. Uh, depending on how the instructor has it set up, you may be able to download these. Most of the time it's not set up that way, but you can um, download those if they give you permission. So um, so you just click on this and you can watch the recordings uh, that were made in the class. So it's a nice system to, to use um, to record videos of the lectures and stuff. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Thank you for taking your time to watch this brief walkthrough of Blackboard and your continued patience in working through this transition to remote instructions. I know it's going to be difficult. Um, just be patient. And um, if you have any problems or questions, contact the Bluegrass Help Desk or the KCTCS Go uh, KCTS Help Desk. Thank you for watching and have a good day.